Hey y'all, I'm Jan Schroeder. I'm Chris Schroeder. So we are the lucky winners of the contest that International Living Magazine had last year to win a month in Portugal, specifically the Algarve, as, as a kind of trial dream retirement. So we are spending the month of October here in Lagos, Portugal, which you can see the amazing cliffs behind us. We spent the first two and a half weeks traveling around Portugal to some of the more well-known cities like Lisbon and Porto and Caixcaix. And um, it was really great to see all the museums and the history in Lisbon. And you know, Porto actually is sort of an old world city. It's great for the Douro Valley with the wine. Caixcaix is really upscale. Um, a lot of great um, historical castles and things there. But down here at the coast, the uh, weather is amazing. They have 300 days a year of sunshine. So really for our first two and a half weeks, um, we've had a lot to eat, great people to meet, and the wine and the weather mm, can't be beat. So, as we travel around Portugal, we've asked lots of people from drivers to tour guides to expats, why Portugal? What's so great about living here? And some, several themes have emerged, and so we're going to be talking about several of those in future videos and stories. But in this video, we wanted to talk about the beauty of the country and the climate. So as Chris mentioned, there's so much sunshine. It's just, it's been really beautiful. We had like one morning of rain and that was it. Um, the only problem was I was so proud of myself packing six weeks in a carry-on, but it turns out I packed the wrong things for six weeks and I didn't have, uh, I don't have clothes. It's suitable for walking on the beach, for example. So yesterday I bought this linen dress from Bender because it's breathable for this, I think tomorrow's gonna be 81 degrees or something. And then uh, I didn't have any shorts or yoga pants to wear, so I just bought a pair of men's, I bought a man's bathing suit so I couldn't wear that, but um, this was only five euros. And that's actually a topic we're going to talk about in a future video, the affordability of this country, because it's unbelievable. For example, we paid five dollars for a glass of wine the other day, and we're like, wow, that was expensive. So that just shows you how affordable this country really is. There is a lot of beauty and a lot to be seen here in this beautiful country of Portugal. Um, so just for example, take a look at what's behind us. Philip, and I now live in Portugal, but I was the retired CEO of the Community Foundation for Greater Atlanta, where I worked for 43 years. But I came to Portugal, where my daughter and son-in-law and grandchildren are, for a visit, and I've never been back to Atlanta since. Portugal is an amazing place. There's different climates within easy driving distance. As you can maybe see, there's a beach behind me now. We're at Porto, where the beach is. But there's lots of things. And I, one of the things that really matters to me about Portugal is how safe I feel. I never hesitate to go anywhere at any time of day or night. And that's not like it was for me in America. This morning, before coming to lunch with my friends, I went horseback riding. I do a fitness class twice a week, I do yoga once a week, and I'm taking Portuguese lessons. Someday, I really will be fluent in Portuguese. Portugal's a wonderful place to be and a wonderful place to retire. Hi, I'm Linda Dan, and this is my husband, Brock Dan. Hi. And um, we just wanted to tell you why we are in Portugal now. We started reading a magazine called International Living a couple, several years ago, actually. And there was an article in there where they compared the best places to retire. And we started looking at what's most important to us. And we checked all the blocks. Portugal kept coming to the top of the list. So we came out for a scouting trip this past March, but we'd already made up our minds we were gonna move here. We sold our house, we sold our car, we sold all of our furniture. Everything. And we showed up with just a handful of bags. Okay, a lot of bags. And um, we live in Lagos currently. We have a lease for five months and we don't know where we're gonna go after that. There's a lot of areas yet to explore, and, but everything we've seen so far we really love and we're 
just, we feel so blessed to be here. We used to live in California and things there um, are deteriorating rather we're, quickly. We're not as appealing to us as, as what we find here, so that we're happy to be here. Hello, uh, my name is Quivian O'Doherty. I'll be uh, in Take Porto, but also for uh, my, myself, Irish guy in Porto. I'm here 11 years, working for eight as a tour guide, and the reason I like it, and the people were just so open, so uh, so warm, so laid back, you know, I mean, very resilient people. Uh, but nowadays, I can't, can't really pick one thing. I love, you know, 11 years here, I've gone native. FC Porto, best football team in the world. Uh, Francesinha, you gotta try that if you go to Porto. Best fo uh, food going, and again, still the people. Can't just the people are great, and probably most importantly, for a city this size, I've never had my head over my shoulder. Safe, safe, safe. You know what I mean. So that's the reasons why I love here, and uh, hopefully I'll see you sometime. Hello, I'm Philippe from Mercado das Empadas, the Empadas Market. Uh, welcome to Porto in Portugal. I hope you like our country, but I have to give you two tips. First tip, no tips. That helps somehow the speculation of everything, so please don't give your money. And the other tip is, every shop, everywhere sh are obliged to show all prices for you to confirm what you're going to pay. So this way you won't be cheated. Enjoy, have a good meal, eat a lot, drink a lot, and make your love.